All right guys, in today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to root the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. Right here, you can see I've got SuperSU installed and full root access on the device. This will also work pretty much the same way on the Galaxy S6. We're gonna be using a program called CF Auto Root. It's by a developer named Chainfire and just makes this process seamless and very, very, very simple. So on that note, let's go do this. So to root your Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge with CF Auto Root by Chainfire, it's very simple to do this, okay? Not hard at all. Basically, you got your device right here, and your first thing you're going to do is, um, well, we'll check our build number just so you can see what we're working with. All right, you're going to want to know your build number. Um, actually, this one, baseband version is fine, or build number. All right, you want to know that information and your Android version, and just just make sure you have all this before you start because we're going to need it to download a file. All right, then you're going to go ahead and turn your device off, power it off, and we're going to put it into Odin mode. All right, so to put this thing into Odin mode, you must hold your home button, your volume down button, and your power button in that order. All right, and if you just wait, you'll be presented with this screen. All right, pretty basic. From here, you hit volume up and it's gonna put you into Odin mode. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and plug in our USB cable into our device. Shabam. And we'll go over to my computer and we'll make this happen. All right guys, so right here, this is Chainfire CF Auto Root website. I'll give you a link to it in the description. No worries, okay? Um, basically scroll down to your device model number and for the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, it is the SM9, uh, SMG actually, where is it at here, too far, SMG925T for T-Mobile, and you download that file, okay? I've already done that. You're also going to want to come into this site right here, go to drivers, go to Samsung, I'll give you a link, and download the latest Samsung drivers right here. And then lastly, you're going to want to go to Programs and where was it at? Odin. You want to download the latest Odin, which again, I'll give you a link in the video description, and you'll have all this, okay? All right. From here, I'm going to go into my file system, and this is what I've already got in here. So here is the CF Auto Root I downloaded. So I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to go ahead and extract it. So here's my extracting. So extract. This is 7-zip. I'm going to call it CF auto I can spell right auto root and not C R C F goof here we go and close that out and there it is right up there okay that's the files now you can see I have my Odin files right here there's that Odin I already have and my drivers are already installed so I'm gonna skip those steps so if you open it up basically it has some Odin files Actually, oh look, it does. It's updated. It has the latest Odin, so you don't even need that. So that's excellent. So Odin's in here, and here's your MD5 TAR. So yeah, you're good. So basically from here, you're just going to go ahead and open up Odin. And just make sure you have a COM, and it says added. That means your device is seen, your drivers are functioning, everything's working correctly. From here, you're just going to type, uh, click on the AP, and you're going to select. It should come up automatically, the CF Auto Root. And it just does a quick check of it. Everything looks good, and then you're just going to go ahead and click start, and you're going to root your Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, very simply. So let's do this. So here you go. Looks like it's going to go ahead and give this a run. You can see on the device that it just did a reboot, and what you should see here is a custom recovery boot up, if I'm not mistaken, which is going to go ahead and root the device. So that should be pretty cool. Let's check this out here. There we go. Looks like it is working. So that is a good sign. Very nice. So as soon as this finishes, we should have root access on our device. So there we go. Booting back up here. And looking quite nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, what I found 
which is really weird and a pain in my neck is you're going to need to download the S6 Edge version you saw and I would also download the normal S6 version which is the SM-G920T for T-Mobile and I flashed the first one which was the S6 version and it failed so um, basically you just hold down power and volume down until it reboots and then as soon as it reboots hit home keep holding all three get in download mode again and try flashing the normal S6 version. That's the only way I could get root access and actually it's already asking for it so I'll grant it because that's ADB shell looks like asking for it and we'll go ahead and just make sure we have it so super sue and no thanks and oh interesting that's T-Mobile is asking if I have root access I'm gonna say no we're going to trash that. I don't want to grant T-Mobile access. They're checking my phone for root access. Very interesting. Don't grant that if you see it on an initial pop-up right there. Um, turn that off. But you have root access. You could install root checker and double check if you want at this point. But there's really no need. Um, so this is kind of a frustrating process for me. I really had to flash Odin twice. S6 Edge Odin and Normal. You could try the Normal one first. I couldn't do it until I flashed two in a row. It seemed like the only way I get it to work. I tried each one individually, failed. And flashing S6 Edge first, then the normal functioned. I, I don't get it. It's, it's really frustrating. But anyway, that's it. You are rooted now on your Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge or Samsung Galaxy S6. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, please, um, you know, hit me up in the comments below. Stay tuned for more coverage on this device like installing Torp Recovery and so on. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.